Our hearts beat to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun. As she puts her hand in mine, we wanna chase the night. Hello there and welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Daphne. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is where we left off last week where we did the makeover for fall in my entryway and also the kitchen. I wanted to share my front porch uh, with you. I recently uh, shared it on my outdoor channel and I absolutely love the way that it turned out. And I wanted to know, would you guys like for me to do a new video um, sharing this on this channel so that you can see what I've been doing over on the outdoor channel and how I decorated the space for fall. So leave me a comment down below. If you would like to see um, the video, leave me some pink flowers. So we're going to get started with today's video and we're going to be doing the back entryway. So I am just going to be doing a quick refresh here. I'm starting out just um, vacuuming the floor and then we have some shelves that we put in uh, last year. So we're just going to see if we're able to refresh to the decor um, on the shelves. So we're just gonna dust everything off. And then I picked up a Park Lane um, artwork. It was about a month or two ago. I was at HomeSense and I saw it, it was $16.99 and I thought it was really cute. So I decided that I would keep it. I wasn't sure where I was gonna use it in my home, um, but I really liked the landscape and I wanted to see if it would fit over in this space. If I don't wind up using it here, I definitely will use it upstairs in my bedroom somewhere. So I'm just gonna play around um, with the shelves and see if I'm able to, you know, work it into the space. So I decided to just keep the original artwork and I'm working this little wooden uh, whitewash owl that I got at the end of season at uh, Home Goods about three years ago. And it fits perfectly here on the ledge, so I really like the way that it turned out. And this is just a look back at the kitchen that we decorated last week. So if you haven't watched that video, definitely check it out after you finish this video. It's going to be linked in the description. So we're going to move over to the living room. 
and this is just how we're looking before we start adding the warm and cozy vibe into this space I absolutely love my living room um, about three years now we changed it over to Benjamin Moore simply uh, simply white oh actually no it's silver satin so we did a eggshell finish and we totally redid this space it was actually one of the first videos that i shared here on this channel so the playlist is going to be linked in the description i have a living room series if you'd like to see where i started out all the makeovers that i did in this space and how light and bright i was able to make it and i absolutely love this space um the sofa that i have here is 17 years old um most people cannot believe that the sofa is 17 years old i got it at lazy boys um, when alex was first born and it is absolutely amazing it was one of the best purchases that i have ever made with furniture So we're just reusing these florals. We picked them up last year at Home Goods. There was a bundle of two, and I believe they were $16 or $14.99, one of the two. Um, I love them. They're like little seed pods, and they are so rich, and I just love the way that they look in all of my vases. So I decided to just use the same vase that we had here. It has metal handles on it and it's a um, ceramic uh, vase. It has beautiful texture on it. And I just love the way that it you know, looks here. Um, I decided that I was gonna add in an additional book. I went and grabbed a book um, from my stash called Create. And we're just gonna put it here on top of the home body book that we have now. Now I love this round um, tray. We put it in for the summer and I'm just gonna keep it in because I love the um, warm feeling that it you know, adds here on the ottoman. And we're just gonna put back the candlesticks that we had before. And I love the subtle colors of the candles that we have in there. And we're just gonna warm up the space just a little bit more. I'm gonna be adding in a um brown like charcoaly brown actually no i would consider that to be more of like a, a nutmeg and it's a velvet uh, pillow cover it's going to be linked inside of my uh, amazon storefront um, it's a pillow cover that i purchased a couple of uh, years ago we just added in a full uh, fur throw and then we're adding in the cutest little pumpkin and we are gonna be adding another um, of the brown velvet pillows on this side and just fluffing up all of the pillows and setting the stage for this warm and cozy feeling that we're adding here.
I love the way that this looks. I just absolutely love the marrying of just neutral colors and the way that it pops off of the white walls that we have here in my uh, living room. So here's another look and then we're going to be moving into the dining room and we're just going to do a quick refresh in there as well. So we're just going to get started here on the sideboard and we have uh, the two boxes here. So we have a three set of boxes that's also um, from Amazon. So if you guys like it, it's going to be linked in the description. It's an amazing deal. It comes with three boxes and as large as these are, there is one more that's even bigger than it. And I keep it upstairs in my um, bedroom. So once we go upstairs uh, in the next video or so, you'll be able to see um, how I have it there. So I am just putting down a coffee table book. It's uh, Call It Home. And I'm turning it to a beautiful page that just you know goes with the scheme here. And then we're just gonna add in a gourd which is actually a Halloween but we're gonna turn it around and then we're gonna add in one of those little rustic uh, pumpkins that we used um, in my kitchen so we had purchased only three things for all of the decor that we did for fall we uh, purchased a bag of those little pumpkin fillers we we purchased um, two items for the kitchen, which was like a salt and pepper shaker, and then also some tea towels, and that's it. Everything else is already what we already had, everyday decor, and we're just mixing and matching and moving things around and making it so special for fall. So this is how the dining room table is looking. Now I did all of my decorating on the lower level all in the same day, and this happens to be the last spot that we're doing. So I had all of the decor laid out here on the table. So this is what's left. So we're just gonna clear off the table. We're gonna clean it. And then we're going to just, you know, add our little touches here to the table. And then we're gonna take a look and see how the dining room is looking for fall.
speed to the city streets we begin to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher the night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine I just want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you found this video inspirational. I really just want to, for full, always just add in amazing but subtle touches to just warm up my home for the season. I try not to go overboard with a lot of pumpkins and a lot of colors that I don't necessarily have in my decor. I just like to just give moments and I hope that I was able to uh, bring that forth in this video and that you find inspiration. So if you haven't watched my uh, last video where we did the living room, we did the front entryway, um, and we added nice and cozy touches there as well. I'm going to link it in the description so that you can check it out. And then also before I go into the project recap of those videos so you, that you can get a little taste of what I did, I also want you to vote. Let me know if you would like to see a front porch makeover. As I said before, I shared it on my outdoor channel, but I would definitely re-edit it and put some additional footage in it to share with you guys. So let me know in the comment section. Till the next time, have a blessed day.